Hi, so everywhere you go and meet people with, who drink wine, you see them swirl in the wine and looking at it and swirl it around. What does it matter if you're in the restaurant, meeting your friends, uh, be in the wine shop, seeing professional degustation, and you are thinking like, look, wine is for drinking, why we are stirring this? this Thing, you know, might look weird. It's for drinking, not for stirring. Today I'm gonna tell you uh, why everyone is stirring in the wine and how to do it properly and what to don't do. Welcome to my channel, my name is Pavel Paska. See you after. Um Turning wine. Why actually people do that? There's two main reasons for doing that. The wine glass is specially designed to stir in the wine and to capture the aromas of wine. So I would say 70% of uh, pleasure from drinking wine is going to be its smell, its aromas. Basically, you want to capture all the aromas. That's why you don't put too much uh, wine in the glass. Never let people to put more than like a third of your glass. Um, that's for the reason that you want to capture the aromas in the top of the glass. You want a little bit of wine uh, to obviously drink it and have pleasure from it. And the bigger part to capture the aromas. So the first reason for stirring the wine is to to spread the wine all around the edges and um, enhance, accumulate the aromas of wine, the, the, the smells uh, inside the glass. So while uh, while you're doing that, you basically accumulate the aromas, uh, intensify them, and then when you smell them, you smell, you you can more examine the wine. You can smell more flavors. You can you can capture a little bit better than if you don't didn't stir. So if you don't stir the wine, you're not gonna feel much, depends on the wine, but you're not gonna feel that much uh, that much aromas unless you stir it and then you put your nose very deep inside and you can literally smell all the flavors, all the, ar all the aromas of the wine and examine it very well. So obviously after you're gonna enjoy better or not. The second main reason for uh, for swirling the wine and stirring the glass, stirring the wine, it's going to be to aerate the wine. So what's happened? Uh, wine uh, react with oxygen. So basically, uh, once you open the bottle, once you pour the wine in the glass, the oxygen is going to go in reaction with wine, and the wine is going to get reaction with oxygen, and it's going to it's gonna develop different aromas. It's gonna open the wine. It's gonna open the aromas. Different aromas gonna come up. So basically, why you swirling the wine in the glass? You aerate the wine. So you make the aeration of the wine stronger, faster. You like you boost the aeration. So basically, why you do that? You you change the aromas of the wine. You actually uh, you actually. Bring, bring up the true aromas of your wine. That will be that will be like a little small decanter. If you don't have a decanter, if you go to the restaurant, you, they don't really necessarily have decanter, or the wine maybe doesn't need to be decanted for a long time. Uh, only this is going to already help you to decant the wine, uh, to aerate the wine, and then you go. You're gonna feel more of the real aromas, the true aromas of the wine. You're gonna enjoy a little bit more. You're gonna feel uh, different flavors. Maybe you were captured and need to be uh, exposed to oxygen a little bit more. That's why, for example, if you open a bottle, the taste of wine, the smell of the wine, it's gonna change over a few minutes uh, just standing in your glass because of the aeration. Uh, so you just enhance this process. You just move this process a little bit faster so you can enjoy a little bit more wine. So how we properly stir the glass. Uh, you probably saw different techniques and ways and you may even make big mess or drop the wine in yourself. 
So how you do this to don't embarrass yourself, to do it well and to enjoy us and to look even a little bit more professional, you know, so uh, you're not going to be the, the newbie in the crowd, right? Well, so first of all, you never let anybody to, or you don't pour yourself uh, more wine than, than one third of the glass. So that will be the moment when you stop to put the, uh, the wine. That's like perfect pour. Second, you need a nice glass which kind of close inside, then the wine is not going to drop around. But any glass could be fine if you pour just not crazy amount of wine inside. You hold by the steam, the lower part I would say, you can hold by the top but it's not very comfortable. So by the lower part of the steam it's gonna go a little bit better so you can go a little bit more crazy. Um, try to don't hold this way, you can also stir this way if you, if you feel more comfortable but don't hold the glass like this because it's gonna warm up your wine and if this is not what you want, you usually don't. Uh, so just don't hold here, hold it here. Another technique which is uh, also kind of common, you can hold by the steam. You can see on the professional degustations, uh, sometimes some years hold like this, looks kind of uh, fancy and, uh, and cool. So that's, that's also possible. If you don't feel comfortable at all with any of those ways and you feel like when you move the glass it's gonna drop somewhere, uh, another way to do it is uh, very easy, so just put, put the glass on the table, um, hold by the, by the stand and just move around. Easy, simple, don't go crazy, just try to keep the rotation easy. So, cool, now you know why and uh, how to swirl the glass. So, one thing to tell you, which I learned from the sommelier who teached me, um, this is not a wash machine. You don't need to, to turn the glass for half an hour and stir the wine for half an hour. Couple movements, like I would say this should be enough. Don't need much more than that. You smell, you drink, maybe next time when you pick up the glass, you do this again. Cool. Don't need to do this for half an hour. That doesn't make you professional. When you see people doing that, they probably just do because it's a habit or, or they just feel that's the way that you should do it all the time. No, 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 no. You stir the glass once, smell it, good. If it's not crazy wine, it's not gonna improve over stirring it. It's just gonna just gonna finally you're gonna start to speak and uh, uh, lose pay, uh, lose attention and drop the glass all around so uh, I would say a couple of drops enjoy your wine drink then when you feel like maybe one more that's it that's the most professional Show, shoulder and confidence there that's gonna make you look uh, more professional uh, more uh, like someone who actually does this all the time you know so I hope you learned something or this helped you with something uh, enjoy wine, stir it, and don't uh, drop on your uh, new shirt or beautiful dress. <laughs> if you like it, subscribe or like or comment and see you in the next uh, episode. Enjoy wine, have a nice day, bye.